pounds. First, he weighs it at 210 pounds, fighting out of Cleveland, Ohio. He is the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano! And his tag team partner, he weighs it at 231 pounds, fighting out of Windsor, Ontario, Canada, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander! DC calling the action with Vic Tetronimo and not even waiting for the bell. Hey, I love your uh, nicknames, by the way. But more Bobby important. Beverly and Ricky Shane Page come charging in. Ricky Shane Page sent to the floor. Bobby Beverly caught with the elbow. Bobby Beverly isolated by the dream team of Johnny Gargano and Josh Alexander. Oh! oh. And they've been working on their strategy, that's for damn sure. That's some innovative tag team action. What else is interesting, Johnny Gargano, last year's gauntlet winner, we made that return from a possible career-ending injury, tagging with this year's Ooh. possibly odds-on favorite, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. The walking weapon. That's not just a moniker. I guess it is just a moniker. No, it's not. This man, look at the strength right here. Oh! Ricky, he's gonna be holding it up. Yeah, he is. Ricky he's Shane for Page. Johnny Gargano to complete the combination. Uh, Ricky Shane no! Page isn't a light man, and Johnny Gargano is he looking for the trifecta, Drew? Gargano's doing laps. Ah. And Ricky Shane Page, he still has him. He can drop him whenever he wants. Yeah, oh. he wanted to drop him. He wanted to drop him, and, and he did. And Ricky Shane Page is an Easter ham dinner away from maybe three bills. You know, I gotta say, I, I thought that Chris Dickinson, besides Michael Elgin, may have been the strongest member of the AW roster. I think I was wrong. This guy, Josh Alexander, is something else. Well, Josh Alexander threw his name into the hat, and, and he was very impressive. He kind of gets lost in the shuffle here in AIW behind a guy like Mr. Asshole uh, Ethan Page uh, and ACH from last year as a breakout star. Josh, Josh Alexander, certainly a not, excuse me, let's try it again. Josh Alexander certainly has a lot to prove tonight, not only fighting for himself, but I mean, representing AIW against the threat of Nixon, the constant threat that we've seen since last year's absolution. Yeah, and you got a partner like Johnny Gargano, a former champ. We just talked about a former gauntlet for the gold winner. They are AIW's hope tonight to drive a little bit of a wedge, make a little bit of a dent in what is Nixon, which you saw, as you mentioned, last year. They got the championship. They got a part owner on the outside. You can see his bald head glaring right now, Duke, as Alexander running into Bobby Beverly, former intense champion himself. Well, the quick tags between Gargano and Alexander. And Gargano directing traffic right here. Look at this teamwork. You never know this is their first night on the job. This match is still young. Of course, as you alluded to, Eric Ryan, the current AIW absolute champion, is going to be defending that title later on tonight against Davey Vega. Davey Vega won the opening match here at Gauntlet for the Gold. By the way, Josh Alexander, he represented AIW. He bleeds AIW back on National Pro Wrestling Day just about six, seven weeks ago. Absolutely. Him and Ethan Page with a, a show-stealing performance. Oh, big clothesline. Here we go. Oh. Just about to say, are there many in the world as good as Johnny Gargano? I'd say the answer is no, but Rick Shane Page had his number with that flying Yakuza kick. Yeah, Ricky Shane Page, he's he's very aggressive, he's very sadistic, he's very predictive, he's very evil. And he might let a little bit of that evil out tonight here on Johnny Gargano as he's just throwing forearms now, a vicious chop to the chest. Well, Ricky Shane Page, I mean, he's definitely upped his conditioning, slimmed down. He certainly can't take away his size or swing. Could take away he's a man's always, career, though. Yeah, he's been a very he's always been a very agile competitor, but even more so now with that advantage, carrying less weight. It's gonna it's gonna give him better condition, and therefore he's gonna have better win, better endurance as this match goes on too. Something that I would say that there's very few wrestlers in the world with the conditioning of Johnny Gargano. Just an absolute monster in the gym. Bobby Beverly doesn't care about your agile, your ability, how much you condition in the gym, but you can't really fight against forearms to the face. Is Gargano able to kick out on a two? And that guy on the outside, Duke, he really has brainwashed this Nixon group. Well, I don't necessarily agree that he's brainwashed them. All these guys feel as though they've been screwed, not only by AIW, but also just by the scene at large throughout the course of their careers. Duke's just giving him an opportunity to try and exact that revenge because he knows how big of a platform AIW is. I mean, 
Johnny Gargano is a world caliber athlete. Josh Alexander still making a name for himself, but a win here for Nixon, I mean, it's more than a feather in the cap. It's a statement. Yeah, it's, it's putting the rest of the independent scene, everybody else here at AIW, on notice. And they already got the AIW Championship, a win here, even maybe even a gauntlet, uh, gauntlet Royal Rumble victory well, tonight. You know, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen uh -oh, hey, if hold. Eric Ryan is able to retain his title later on tonight. Bobby Beverly's spitting on Josh Alexander. I don't think you really want to piss off a man his size. Now, Alexander, Alexander not keeping a level head, though, and Nixon maintaining control of this match. I was saying, if Eric Ryan is able to defeat Davey Vega, I mean, he is the odds-on favorite going into that matchup. So that does seem like a, li a likely outcome. I like Davey Vega, don't get me wrong. I'm excited to see what he's going to be able to do against Eric Ryan. I don't want to sell him short, but he's already wrestled once tonight. It, it, you almost have to wonder, with Ricky Shane Page and Bobby Beverly entering the gauntlet, if they're going to be gunning for Eric Ryan's title, or perhaps looking to control the outcome of that, by eliminating people that they definitely don't want going head to head that's, with Nixon. That's a very interesting point, DC. But right now, the, the point being made is Nixon is in firm control of not just Johnny Gargano, they're in control of AIW. It's so poetic, justice almost in the ring right now for the group known as Nixon. And again, a big, vicious elbow from Bobby Beverly as their well, manager, part time uh, consultant owner of the company. And, you know, he's got a lot of trades. Yeah. He's got a lot of titles. Duke on he's the outside. He's got his hands on a lot of pots. With a stupid ass whistle around his neck. He's got a whistle? Whatever that is. I'll tell you what, you think with all the money he has, he'd involved in some hair plugs, maybe at least a little shine to put on the back of that dome, because I can't even see into the ring right now. Sometimes you go bald. You don't. You got flowing locks. Just letting people know that. Oh, look at the big guy fly. Come on, Johnny, kick yeah, out. From flowing locks Oof. to flying body blocks. Oh. Ricky Shane Page taken to the air with no problem whatsoever. And I, I just want to say, I don't mean to, to be rude and interrupt you, but I can't sit here and, and be, I can't sit here and talk good about Nixon. I can't sit out here even as a journalist. I'm all AIW, I'm all for Johnny Gargano, I'm all for Josh Alexander, and I'm hoping that Johnny Gargano can somehow get out of this hold and tag in the walking weapon because Nixon needs a good slap Ooh. in the mouth. Well, Johnny Gargano, Johnny Gargano, very resilient. Oh, Ricky Shane Page making a making a challenge to Josh Alexander, saying he's going to hold him up twice as long. He didn't even Johnny, hold him up for a fraction of the second. Up. He couldn't even get him up. Oh! There it is, Johnny. Shot. Make Ricky the tag, Johnny. He's the wherewithal to kick out immediately. Uh, Bobby Beverly on, Johnny. making haste. Able to avoid contact on that Enziguri. Johnny Gargano going low. Oh, Catch Ricky Shane Page. Is. Nixon driven down to the mat. Gargano has to make the tag now. Johnny, this is your best opportunity. You have to get over there and tag in. Josh Alexander, it's not just for your own well-being. AIW needs something. They need to put a dent into this group known as Nixon. And they got to get Josh Alexander, and they do. Well, Alexander could be the man to do it. Going to be looking for a dent in the chest of oh. Bobby Beverly. Maybe a hole in the side of his head, too. Come on, Josh. You got to stay on him. Nope. Just dropping him. Whoa, look at that strength. Deadlift. Bobby Beverly had that one scouted, trying to fight out. Gets caught with that elbow. Oh, but Josh Alexander gets caught in the kidneys. Whoa, sweeping off the legs from Ricky Shane Page. And sending Bobby Beverly over Ricky Shane Page. Oh. And now it's just that cross body. Josh, taking Ricky Shane Page to the floor. Josh Alexander, a strong man. He just oh. picked up Bobby Beverly and dropped him. Where steel meets wood, as you can see his body quivering. No, he can't do this. No way, no way. No Even way. with the weight that Ricky Shane Page has lost. Oh! Unbelievable! The strength of Josh Alexander, yeah, not basically. only coming down on the apron, coming down on the knee of Bobby Beverly, too. Not enough to put Ricky Shane Page away. Talk about his strength. He has this whole company. He's got the fans. He's got the board. He's got us as commentators at locker room on Josh Alexander's back right now. Look at this with ease. Trying to get him in that power slam position. Ooh. Missing with the rolling elbow. There it is. Drop him. Drop him, Josh. Yeah! yeah. The jig and tonic, as it is sometimes referred to, that inverted pile driver, the I impact don't. right in the pin. You can tell Ricky Shane Page is somebody that's taken a lot of blows to the head. He was able to eat that one, too. I, I don't know how Ricky Shane Page was able to kick out. What I do know is Duke on the outside right now. You got to watch him. 
Yeah, Josh Alexander taking his time, basically telling the Duke, you're not gonna get involved in this one. The Duke did not. Ricky Shane paged a couple extra seconds to recover. Where's and now Josh? perhaps looking to hit that backdrop suplex oh, hold on, from Josh. the second rope. Hold on, Josh. Yeah, Josh needs to hold on until Gargano can assist him, but Gargano nowhere to be seen. There we go. Ricky Shane Page sent spilling to the canvas. What's he doing? Josh Alexander is a big dude. What's what a big doing? man flying? Oh, nothing but knees. Ricky, Ricky Shane Page oh. in one motion, elevating and dropping him down. Nixon wins. No! Johnny Gargano. Seemingly out of nowhere. He's been out of the equation for a number of minutes. Now Bobby Beverly, so evenly matched with Johnny Gargano, and that's one of the things that I can tell you goes 100 miles on Bobby Beverly's ass, is that he does not get the same credit as somebody like Johnny Gargano. These We've seen some of the most evenly matched encounters in AIW history between Gargano and Bobby Beverly. Look at that, Bobby Beverly. Look at Johnny Gargano on a mid-air with that backbreaker. A history of back injuries. Gargano's just too damn Brazilian. Bobby Beverly, you mentioned he doesn't get the respect that he thinks he should get, but he's got to go out there and earn it. And right now, you got to think you that's can't dwelling agree. on his mind. You can't agree with the tactics that Nixon wants him to play. Nope, you can't. So far, I've got to say, they haven't been reliant on those dastardly tactics in this contest. Do you Woo. think that if they avoid doing that, it could pick up the victory? Will they start to earn some of that respect? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, okay. Uh, uh, you can, as Gargano. Oh, there we go now. Too much damage has been done. Beverly's on Dream Street. Cover him, Johnny. You think Come he's on, gonna Clemens. beat? You think he's gonna beat? That's I, Bobby Beverly showing how resilient I, he is. I don't think, and now we got a submission. I don't think you're ever gonna get respect out of anybody in this company for what Nixon has done as Ricky Shane Page breaks up that hold, and there's Josh Alexander again. Oh, these guys are certainly putting in some work. You gotta like, think, Nixon's got, they got, they got the champ, they got the money on the outside, they got the athleticism of Bobby Beverly, the strength of craziest Ricky Shane Page. Oh, do -si do Ooh, Ooh, Josh, he hit that right knee into the turnbuckle. Oh, Ricky Shane oh. Page charging at Johnny Gargano. And throwing him right to that knee strike. Gargano staggered. Saito suplex. Will the combination continue? Come on, Not Johnny, come pin. on, Johnny. Man. He's as resilient as a rubber band. You, you gotta, you just gotta, you gotta question what is going through the head right now. Even the AIW guys that are in the locker room watching this on a monitor, hoping that these two guys, Josh Alexander and Johnny Gargano, can somehow pull the victory as there's a meeting. The two big bulls looking to lock horns. Ricky Shane Page seems to thrive on that punishment. Look at that shot from Alexander. RSP responds. Kick so to the guts. Alexander. Oh. A high kick from Ricky Shane Page. Somebody that height getting his leg that high is nothing short of incredible. Oh. Charging it with that form. Come on, Josh. Gonna build up steam off the ropes. Come on, Josh. Sidestepped. Oh, whoa. Oh! That's a knockout blow, but Ricky stayed on his feet. Here we go, the Kevin Bacon kick. What a vicious kick, Gargano. The ends are going from Johnny Gargano. No. Ricky no. elevating him up on the shoulders, oh. the super kick. Alexander with the knee strike. Ricky Shane oh. Page with the boot stomp. Johnny Gargano elevated, but now DDT. he's going to get DDT. What an insane save. There we go, Johnny. Johnny. No, oh. the roaring elbow, he's got a beat. Alexander oh. him out. What in the hell is going on? Neither, neither team, none of these four men want to lose this match. This is a vital match in AIW's history, and they're all laying it on the line. We are one week removed from WrestleMania, but you would think that these guys are wrestling in front of millions the way that they've laid it all on the line. So much to prove. Come on, Johnny. Johnny Come on, Gargano Josh. has carried AIW on his back. I'm sure that's a role that Josh Alexander would love to be in someday. There he is, Johnny. Get him, Josh. There we go. AIW rolling now, D. Roll in now. Gargano looking to go for that lawn dart. Ricky Shane Page. What are they doing here? Oh, a double, double lawn, lawn dart. dart. Cover him, guys. Get the Duke off the See what I told you. I, I, not this this is where I agree. Crap. I agree with you. I agree with you. Nixon has proven they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe all match. We don't need this bullshit. Duke can do whatever he wants. He, he, he can't get his squad fly. He'll fire Jake Lemons. He owns part of the company. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but he owns the company. 
He can do whatever the hell he wants. No, but then again, he stuffed my envelope tonight. I'm not gonna say anything bad about the dude. Oh, wait a minute, who's coming down the apron here? Who is that? Oh, to what surprise, Mr. Asshole himself, Ethan Page. Wait a minute. The Roaring Elbow! No. He's got him in a torture rack. Oh! The momentum wait, wait minute, with that knockout kick! The what double is... stack and Johnny Gargano has been defeated no. by Nixon. What? What? You said that. What? What about Ethan Page? You said that was Ethan Page.